It is the goal of most math teachers to help their students understand, enjoy, and use mathematics. When teachers were asked about desired outcomes, they talked about wanting students to be able to draw from a variety of mathematical tools and techniques, to solve realistic problems, and to take satisfaction in a solution or result that can be explained and that connects to interesting aspects of the world we live in. And yet, the problems that we encounter in most mathematics classrooms are toy problems, miniatures, simplifications. There is a way to overcome this, and that way is by incorporating modeling problems into your course design. Mathematical modeling is a part of state standards across our nation, but it is a part that is often ignored or only touched upon. Perhaps this is because there are no additional content standards particular to modeling. We see this as good news for two reasons. First, modeling problems can be used in any content area. Second, and best of all, math modeling ties different content areas together, allowing students to experience the unity, beauty, and joy of mathematics. In our introduction to mathematical modeling, we will define, explain, and provide a structure for math modeling problems. If you want to do more than just add labels and meaning to abstract problems, if you want to do more, such as adding richness and depth, allowing students room for interpretation and self-expression, this experience is for you. A variety of resources, including examples, rubrics, and assessment tools, will be provided to participants. Examples of a fairly simple standard modeling problem and of a more challenging problem that includes a random process will be discussed and explored. A selection of scaffolded geometric modeling exercises will also be provided. So if you want to encounter, discuss, and experience the basic components of mathematical modeling, please join us. It's not enough to teach a basketball player dribbling, running, and shooting. They need to play the game. And it's not enough to teach our students arithmetic, algebra, geometry, trigonometry. They too need to play the game.